Good evening. My name is Alexander Hagen. I'm the CEO of a medium-sized small tech company in Silicon Valley. Previously, I was a financial analyst and financial journalist and a research engineer in telecommunications. Uh, tonight, I'd like to speak to you about the case and the question of whether we should consider uh, the murder or uh, of Seth Rich and the uh, allegations that he is a source of DNC leaks, whether this is something that is uh, reputable and important to consider. And we certainly have to consider it enough, at least before we move on, uh, to discard it. It is certainly too important a set of allegations to not review at all. So to review the allegations in the order of uh, significance, with all the events that have gone on, and I've been keeping close tabs on this, uh, Kim.com essentially has claimed Kim.com is an internet entrepreneur who built a large fortune in file sharing and is now in big trouble with the recording industry over copyright violation down to being extradited, having his cop property confiscated. Uh, and I don't believe that uh, early file sharing uh, harmed uh these intellectual property companies, I think it did a lot to spur online video to where it is today because it was often compressed in uh, more degraded formats so that to get the really high quality stuff, if you really liked the piece, you would end up buying it because you'd gotten this uh, pirated download. That's the, the story. But regardless of my feelings about it, Kim.com claims he was in direct touch with Seth Rich and that he is certain he is the WikiLeaks whistleblower. Uh, then, uh, a few days before that, which started this controversy, there is a case of Rod Wheeler, a private investigator, who said at one point something about armed lesbians rolling the United, uh, roaming the United States, so he's considered eccentric, partially discredited, but hasn't come out to uh, have uh, uh, any known cases of uh, lying. Uh, and he has said that if somebody he spoke to at the... Metropolitan Police Department of uh, Washington, uh, that they were told to stand down in this case, and he has not recanted that statement. Last year, Craig Murray, a former UK ambassador who was fired for accusing the government that he was the ambassador to Uzbekistan of corruption, which certainly was, uh, as far as I understand it, uh, he states that the leaks did not come from Russia, but they came from a disgruntled DNC insider. And, uh, you know, to the uh, family and friends of Seth Rich, uh, you know, as a progressive myself, uh, uh, I mean, no disrespect, uh, uh, Seth Rich has gotten into a discussion about the entire issue of uh, the geopolitics and uh, possible nuclear war for our country with Russia. Uh, so we do need to review these things um, briefly. Then we have the case of Assange and WikiLeaks who has been retweeting stories on Seth Rich from Fox News indicating that he might have been the leaker and that there's suspicions about his death being politically motivated. And they also posted a reward earlier last year. The DNC has posted no reward, and this makes you want to understand the motivation of the DNC and think for a moment, what is the code for somebody high in the DNC who is discovered to have contacted WikiLeaks? Would death be considered too harsh? for somebody who was considered such a traitor. Uh, uh, that's just a question. I don't mean to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but it's a quite a serious matter. And if Kim.com was even in touch with Seth Rich, it would have triggered all the national security alerts, regardless of what they were discussing. If they were at a direct person-to-person -person level communication, uh, that would be you know, my thinking on the matter at any rate. Um, so, uh, where were we? Um, uh, so, uh, Assange tweeted, uh, that, uh, the parties are free to come forward of their own volition when people asked about whether they would break their rule that they don't expose their sources under any circumstances, even death. Uh, so he, uh, he made this remark right as Kim.com was coming out saying that he could provide the identity. So the two seemed to be online commentaries of each other. And Assange has never made statements of this nature that later turned out to be fraudulent on matters of his trade. And WikiLeaks has 100% accuracy thus far of everything that's been put out. Um, but some people have said that that in and of itself isn't enough 
uh, that WikiLeaks is simply retweeting things, and I'll get to that in just a quick moment. Another factor, uh, although uh, the central family, the parents and brother of Seth Rich, uh, seem to be of the belief that he did not have any connection with WikiLeaks. The cousin, Jonathan Rich, has tweeted uh, that he does believe that there was a connection that got his cousin killed. Then there's a case of the um, DNC appointed spokesman Brad Bauman, uh, who uh, would have a hundred percent conflict of interest being in the position he's in if there was even a one percent chance of a DNC link. Uh, he is a political operative in the ideal con uh, position uh, for damage control to the Democratic Party. Um, if if Kim can, uh, dot com can prove contact with Seth Rich, uh, the whole story does indeed change. Now, what are the possible outcomes? Somebody contacted Kim.com uh, and they fooled him into thinking they were South Rich or a DNC insider. In fact, weren't or were a different DNC insider. There's that possibility. But certainly he'd either be fairly confident of the identity of the person or be very confident that some major information passed through that he witnessed. So he'd either have had to have a significant confirmation on the content there, you know, that he knew that they were emails from uh, Podesta or the DNC, or he would have had a very strong connection to the center. That's my view if he's not lying. WikiLeaks seems certain he likely was their leaker. They may not be sure uh, by their behavior. Uh, that is, they could have been handed the information saying, this is a friend of mine who uh, gave this to me to give you to uh, help uh, people know about some corruption in the DNC. And so by having a uh, somebody hand it to you that you don't actually know who the original source was, it could even allow a scenario where you could say it was a foreign intelligence service behind it. Um, so we don't know if WikiLeaks even knows who their leaker was, but I think they do. Uh, but it doesn't matter what I think. We don't know. Uh, they also may not be sure if it wasn't a grisly coincidence that their whistleblower or their leaker was gunned down uh, uh, when he wasn't yet unmasked. Um, so what are the circumstantial evidence in the case? Uh, Seth, Rith, Seth Rich died after a seeming to have stabilized from his injuries from being shot after having been witness talking. Uh, there was a denial of the F uh, Freedom of Information Act to get information about this case. Uh, there was no follow-up to interview the bar he had been at to get the receipts, uh, to view the videotape. Uh, there were 50 murders in uh, Washington, I believe, last year that are unsolved, or maybe 50 murders total. Um, and uh, there was no FBI investigation, even though this appears to be not a low-level figure in the DNC, uh, but a mid-level figure, perhaps. Um, then there's the issue that he was uh, shot but not robbed. There's the issue that he was uh, beat, his face and hands were bruised, so as if he had been beaten as well as shot, um, which is odd uh, to be beaten and shot and not robbed. Um, uh, Podesta uh, has a relative who's on the police department board, uh, attending physician, uh, the surgeon who uh, worked on him, uh, had been had attended Podesta's parties. Uh, the police body video cam has all is all missing. All the police were supposedly had body uh, webcams, and supposedly they're all missing. Um, and uh, there is an incredible uh, intolerant atmosphere of people who seem to be almost hired operating on the internet, bullying people into not discussing uh, this. Very, uh, this case it has a mountain of circumstantial evidence, um, and it all really uh, comes down to so, how are we going to get a break in this case? Well, we've got without Kim.com, it's we have to get the information out of WikiLeaks somehow, and um, uh, I don't know how we're going to do that, um, and with Kim.com. There certainly is uh, more evidence I can come and but recently asked the question, why would he lie about this? Um, and I, for the life of me, just can't see why he thinks that if he lied about this, he would get away with it. Um, I don't understand the motive. I see all the motives 
for uh, Seth Rich to have been potentially a, a leaker, which means him uh, certainly liable to be killed. Uh, it could be done by people that were Democratic Party or national intelligence operatives on their weekend, on their spare time, without asking their bosses, um, which is what the culture in this country is. It's a culture uh, that, that the people at the bottom levels of intelligence agencies certainly could consider doing things like this uh, without uh, getting their bosses involved. Um, and of course, his death being two weeks prior to the leak. So, it's an, it, it, so no, we should not stop from asking for a federal investigation and stopping at nothing to find out what happened, uh, both uh, to uh, put a to death this uh, horrible situation we're in, where we are subjected to months of punishing. Uh, uh, innuendo about Russian interference in elections. Uh, every nation attempts to influence other nations. Every nation exerts soft power. Obama endorsed Macron, for example. So there's a line somewhere. And the question is, did Russia cross this line? So people would concede that they'd certainly be within their rights to have a television outlet, even if it uh, aired content that we didn't like, if the content wasn't directly libelous and false. And I would say that on the whole, uh, the uh, Russia Today YouTube channel, uh, while very anti-Western establishment, uh, is not uh, inherently a low quality uh, news. Uh, it, it comes from a certain perspective. Um, but I don't think you could say that they have done an act of war by starting Russia Today, uh, considering the U.S. Uh, has spent billions of dollars on information campaigns and soft power campaigns in every country, on every continent, every year. Um, so, um, so we have to get to the bottom of this and not allow our national discourse to be dominated in this fashion on, and for us to be insulted by not being given any clear evidence. No one has yet given me any clear evidence that there was uh, Russian uh, leak of these emails to WikiLeaks. Uh, their uh, campaign on the surface, the uh, Russia Today pro channel, which is probably the most effective uh, media influencing capability. Now, if people are saying they're sending out fake news on the internet, if that was even the case, uh, anyone can launch a campaign of fake news and uh, people uh, uh, will fall victim to this. It's uh, it is a it is potentially a problem, but the uh, the problem is to uh, the answer is to uh, is to have an education system to people help people think critically, and overall uh, to have a high quality media so people aren't having to go outside of the media to try to find out what's really going on. The media is uh, is, is a big part of this problem and not having a more diverse set of viewpoints. Maybe we had more public funding of media on the one hand, or uh, some way uh, reduced media concentration or media alignment to corporations. Uh, so at any rate, uh, one could go on and on about this, but this is a very troubling matter that um, people are being bullied into silence. This, to me, is the highest indicator that there's something people don't want us to see. Um, my name is Alexander Hagen. Good night and good luck.